Hello everyone, welcome to the video class on Mental Ability Alphabets Test. In this video, I am going to explain how we can solve questions related to alphabets. These are useful for NIPER, Drug Inspector and APPSC exams. This is my YouTube channel. These are my channel credentials. I have more than 2300 subscribers, more than 55,000 views. And all the videos are useful for GPAT, NIPER and Public Service Commission exams. If you like the video content, do subscribe. Let's get into the questions. Now, again, understand this. If growth is 579312, then throw is. See, all these questions are given in NIPER examination. I have taken all of them from NIPER examination. Now, in such kind of questions, you need to write like this. G-R-O-W-T-H. What it is given? It is given as 579312. That means these corresponding alphabets correspond to these numerical values. So, G is equivalent to 5, R is equivalent to 7, like that. Now, what is asked? You need to find out what is this T H R O W is. Look at the one which is given on the top. In the top, what T corresponds to? 1. What H corresponds to? 2. What R corresponds to? 7. What about O? It is 9. What about W? It is 3. So, throw corresponds to 1, 2, 7, 9, 3. Excuse me. So the answer is 12793. So in order to such kind of questions, you need to write this one and find out which alphabets corresponds to which numerical value. This is these are a little bit of easy questions when you understand what is the logic behind that. Moving to the next one. Now look at this. If rotund equal to rond2, now understand this. R O T U N D. What it is equivalent to? R O. See the first two remained as such. But what has happened? N D. Look at this. The last two have come here and the next two come here. So this is what is the change. Now you need to do the same change to potato to get the answer. See P O T A T O. What we have seen here? The first two are remains same. This one comes here. T O. Whereas T A comes here. T A. So this is what it becomes. Potuta. So this is what is the answer. So you can see everything is based on pattern recognition, how they are written, whether it is correspond to a particular numerical or how the interchange is there, then you will easily get the answer. Moving to the next one. <coughs> now again, look at this. A U B V C W. Look at this. A U B V C W. There are two two alphabets are there. What comes after A? It is B. What comes after B? It is C. Now, then what comes after C? It must be T. Let us look at the next one. After U, it is V. After V, it is U, V, W. After W, what it has to be? X. So, this is the answer. Again, you need to find out the pattern. Very easy type questions. Only the thing is you need to find out what is the particular pattern is. Let us move on to the next one. Now, look at them. E, F, H, W, Y, Z. First, see such kind of question, you need to find out what is the relationship between these two things. E, E, F, H, W, Y, Z. Look at them. After E, the next alphabet is F. After F, it is G. But G is missing here. After G, you have H is there. So, this is the pattern. Now, what is the next one? W, after W, you have X. But X is missing. But after that you have Y, after that you have Z is there. So in the top one, the first two are consecutive alphabets and then one is missing. In the next pair, the second one is missing and the next two are consecutive one. Or let me write, write it like this. See, this is first alphabet, this is second alphabet, but three is missing and then four. See, E, F, G is missing, H is there. Whereas in bottom one, this is the first alphabet, two is missing, three, four. So I'm just converting this so that you don't have any Confusion. Now you need to find out the similar pattern in this one. See, P R S U U M J W. P Q is missing. R S. So what is the pattern? This is one. Second one is not there. This is three four one three four. But the first one has to be one two four. So this is wrong. Eliminated. Now let us see the next one. H I Z. What is H I Z? H I J. So, H I J, this is 1, H I is second, H I J is 3, but what we need the pattern? 1 to 4. So, this is also eliminated. Look at the third one, H I K, H I K. 
So in alphabets H, I, J, K, if you write it as 1, 2, 3, 4, what it becomes? 1, 2, 4. This is what is the pattern of the first set is. So this is right. Let us see the next one. P, R, S. Now look at this. P, R, S. So P, Q, R, S. Let us write it as 1, 2, 3, 4. So what is there? 1, 3, 4. Now what is the pattern here? So, so first one has to be in 1, 2, 4 pattern. Second one has to be in 1, 3, 4 pattern. So bingo. This is the answer. See, I am just converting into numericals so that we, it is very easier for us to understand these numericals. When it is in alphabetic forms, it gives a little bit confusion. So, my advice is all the time you need to convert like these numbers that will make solving the question easier. Moving to the next one. Now, look at this. Filling the glamps, stu dash st dash dash ws vw. See, these kind of little bit tricky questions. What the pattern here is, it is following something like this, S, T, U, V, W, and this is one set, and again S, T, U, V, W, second set, and then S, T, U, V, W. This is what is the pattern. Look at this, what is happening? See, S, T, U is given here, so this is fine. You have a blank too. What goes in the blank? This U, V, W has to go there, because again, see, Again, this ST is here. Again, there is a blank. What goes in the blank? This UV will go there. Again, what is following next? This WS is following. Again, there is a blank. What should go there? In the blank, it has to go TU. And then what is following? VW. So all these green, green things must fill in the blanks. What are them? VW, UV, and TU. Where do you have answer this? VW, UV, and TU. So these are the answers. See, you need to understand it is following this particular pattern. When you understand that, then you will you will you will be able to answer that. See, it takes some time in practice to do such kind of questions, but believe me, with practicing you will get this. Now, next one, look at this. It says again, alphabets are correspond to numericals. You need to write immediately top and bottom. See, A, B, C, D correspond to two, five, three, four. Now, the next one, I and O, X represents what? 1, 6, 9, 0. So, these are all the data which is given. Now, you need to find out what is I, B, C, X is. I, B, C, X. Now, what I corresponds to? It corresponds to 1. What B corresponds to? It corresponds to 5. What C corresponds to? It corresponds to 3. What X corresponds to? 0. So, the answer should be 1, 5, 3, 0. That is nothing but this one, 1, 5, 3. 30. See, in the first question we have seen only with one alphabet and numericals. This is a combination of two things, two alphabets and two numericals. But finally, it is easier to do it. Next one. Now, look at this. What does it say? N, L, O, R, P, S. There is a blank and then Z, X here. You need to fill this. Now, how are you going to do this? See, the relationship here it is given as NLO to RPS. Again, whenever such kind of things are given, you need to write the adjacent alphabets. What are the alphabets? L, M, N, O. This is the alphabet set. Now, if you start with numberings 1, 2, 3, 4, I told you always you need to write like this to make the things easier. So, NLO means what? It is N is corresponds to 3, L corresponds to 1, O corresponds to 4, 3, 1, 4. Now let us see the relationship here, R, P, S. So it is P, Q, R, S, right? If you write the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, what comes here? R is 3, P is 1, S is what? 4. So it is following a pattern called 3, 1, 4 and 3, 1, 4. Let us see what is the Z, X, S stands for. Now X, Y, Z, again it starts with A. So when you give the corresponding numericals 1, 2, 3, 4, C, Z, X, A means again 3, give me a second, Z, X, A means again, what is Z corresponds to here? It is 3, X is 1, A is 4, again 3, 1, 4. So you need to fill something which follows the same pattern like 3, 1, 4. Now, let us try with the first one. First one, V, U, W, U, V, W, X, this is what is the one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, it follows the pattern which one? 2, 1, 3, but we need 3, 1, 4 pattern, so this is wrong. Now the second one, VTR. Look at this. Uh, U, V, I am sorry. Now it starts with T, U, V, R, S, T, U, V. 
it's a long one r is 1 2 3 4 now vtr means it, it starts with 5 no we are looking a pattern of 3 1 4 so this is also wrong now let us see the this one vtw now vtw how you need to write u v i'm sorry give me a second hmm. see vtw can be written as t u v w right this is the order right so what t corresponds to 1 2 3 4 now vtw means what 3 1 4 bingo this is what is the order we are looking for 3 1 4 so the answer is this one see for such kind of questions you need to write this things otherwise you don't get the answer properly always alphabets will confuse you you need to convert them into numericals so that it becomes easier now the last one now look at this uh, again we need to understand the pattern this says d n n and then f p p see after d which alphabet you get a b c d g is missing and it jumped to f now after n n o is there and o is missing it went to p now what is the next one h r r now what after uh, f comes g g is missing it is jumping to h after p q comes it is missing it jumps so what should be the next order after h what is there h i is there i must be missing and it is j after r what should be there yes so it, it has to be t see the the final one also follow the same pattern after j k is there k is missing l is there after t you have u but u is missing v is there so what is the answer j t t see all of them alphabetical it is very easy when you find what is the particular pattern it is following and the major important thing is for questions like this thing you need to convert them into numericals hope this is useful uh, thank you for watching this video if you like the video content